Hey gang, welcome back to Opa's Diecast Restoration. Today we gonna restore the 1979 Hot Wheels Poison Pinto. And is this one in bad shape? Most of the paint is gone, at least 90% of it. It's well play worn. There's the date and everything on the bottom. I'll be restoring it back minus the decals, which I'm not able to make. Start by drilling out the rivet on the front which this one I ended up having to glue the base back on because the post was really an oddball shape. Now we're taking the mushroom off of it. While we're at it, if you like my videos, please hit that subscribe button. I see a lot of people are watching. out of the broken grill there as I'm trying to manhandle this thing apart. The back was held on with just a little tab. And there's your pieces. took some liberties on the restoration. Into our stripper. Get all of our plastic parts in the soap and hot water. The base was about the dirtiest of all the pieces. windshield wasn't really too bad, no cracks. Get it on our pledge, revive it. As you'll see later, it uh, turned out really really nice here's the body of the car right out of the stripper and the soapy water scrub here it is after I hit it on the buffing wheel a lot of oxidation but smooth 
get her rinsed off here real good in the mineral spirit. Get our Krylon Gray primer on it. You can see the body was in really smooth condition. Not any casting marks or anything. I went with the Createx Lime Pearl or Pearl Lime, whatever you want to call it. And it laid down really nice. over that gray Krylon primer. This is the first coat. I ended up putting on three coats. I was going to have to brass tube it, so I cleaned out the area. Cut my brass tubing. And you can see the, well, maybe you can't with big dummy fingers in there. You can see the holes in the axle tubing. fact you can see the wheel sitting there ready to get slid in. I lost the footage of me putting the wheels in and gluing them up through the little hole. But here's all the pieces. I detailed the motor, the interior had some tools in the back and I chromed them in, painted the little coiled rope. Here's a look back at where we started. Play worn down to the bare metal on about 90% of the casting. Wheels all janky in there. One wheel didn't even turn. Here's the look coming up here of what we ended up with. I detailed in the tail lights, the chrome rear bumper, headlights, I put in the new grill piece, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up. And as I said at the beginning, please, please hit that subscribe button. For now, this is Opa driving around, saying goodbye.